Fox News says the Federal Aviation Administration is actively recruiting workers who suffer severe intellectual disabilities, psychiatric problems, and other mental and physical conditions under a diversity and inclusion hiring initiative spelled out on the agency's website. The FAA's website states, Targeted disabilities are those disabilities that the federal government, as a matter of policy, has identified for special emphasis in recruitment and hiring. They include hearing, vision, missing extremities, partial paralysis, complete paralysis, epilepsy, severe intellectual disability, psychiatric disability, and dwarfism. The initiative is part of the FAA's diversity and inclusion hiring plan, which says diversity is integral to achieving FAA's mission of ensuring safe and efficient travel across our nation and beyond. The FAA's website shows the agency's guidelines on diversity hiring were last updated on March 23rd, 2022. Um, So this is part of their diversity efforts is to get in people with disabilities. Now, uh, in fairness, just so that we don't engage in any clickbait hyperbole here, this doesn't mean that uh, United Airlines or or, uh, Southwest is going to go and hire a blind mentally disabled dwarf to be a commercial pilot. Now, I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if we get to that point, but that's not what this means, at least not yet. Uh, There are a lot of other jobs in uh, the airline industry generally, a lot of other jobs in the FAA. And people who defend this policy or any DEI policy will argue that, you know, they, they still have the same hiring standards in place that they always have. So if they hire somebody with a physical disability or a psychiatric problem, that person is still going to have to pass all the same tests and demonstrate his fitness in the same way as anybody else, which means that if they get the job, then they're qualified. And uh, and that's the claim, right? That's the DEI defense. And in theory, that could be true in some cases. Like if there's a job filing paperwork or whatever at the FAA office, there's no reason why somebody who's hearing impaired couldn't be perfectly qualified to do that job. So in theory, someone who happens to fulfill a DEI quota doesn't need to be unqualified, in theory. But if, all, if that's all that was happening, right, if they were just letting anybody apply and, and then hiring the best of that crop, um, then you wouldn't need DEI because that was already the case. Okay? But, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that prior to this DEI standard being put up on the website or updated in 2022, uh, prior to that, you know, you, you could be a hearing impaired person and get a job filing paperwork at the FAA or, or whatever. I mean, that was already the case. So when you add in DEI, you're adding in something extra. Um, and what are you adding in? Well, the moment you say, we need, we need to get more of this sort of person into these positions. Right, you're looking at a particular demographic, whether it's disabled, whether it's uh, black people, whether it's women, and you're looking at demographics and saying, we, we need more of them specifically. You're not saying we need more qualified people. You're saying we need more of those people. And even if you're saying we need the most qualified of those people into this position, even if that's what you're saying, which, is, which, which even that is, is not actually, like, that would be better. That would still be terrible. That, that would be better than what they're actually doing. Um, but the moment you do that, then you are going to end up lowering standards because with the current standards, right, before DEI, whatever the standards were, you had however many people you had in whatever demographic, right? And if you want more of that demographic, the standards are going to get lowered. That, that, because, because with the standards up here, you had, you know, the standards were up here, you had X number of people in your favorite demographic, so if you want to get even more, then that means the standards are going down here. And it's insane. It's insane on many levels. It's especially insane because um, to begin with, if you're looking at the airline industry and you say, well, we, don't, we have a minority of women or we have a minority of black people or we have a minority of disabled people, that's not a problem. Like, why is that a problem? If the ranks are full of people who are qualified and few of the qualified people happen to be female or black or whatever, who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. It's not a problem that needs to be solved. As long as you're bringing in the most qualified people, 
Whatever the demographic makeup happens to be at the end of that, doesn't matter. It's not a problem. Um, and so, so if, 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 if no one is black that ends up in that, um, that, 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 you know, ends up in that camp, not a problem. If you end up with everyone is black, also not a problem. As long as race is not taken into, into account at all and you're just hiring the best people. You know, I've been talking about my Helix mattress for years. Helix is the gift that keeps on giving. Every night when I go to bed, I'm reminded of how great they are. Helix is now introducing their newest, most high-end collection, Helix Elite. Helix Elite harnesses years of extensive mattress expertise to offer a truly elevated sleep experience. This collection off includes uh, six different mattress models, each tailored for specific sleep positions and firmness preferences. If you're nervous about buying a mattress online, you don't have to be. Helix has a sleep quiz that matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress because why do you want to buy a mattress that was made for somebody else you don't so you got to go to helixsleep.com slash walsh take their two minute sleep quiz and find the perfect mattress for your body and sleep type your mattress will come right to your door for free plus helix has a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free they'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it but you will. Their financing options and flexible payment plans make it so that a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering 25% uh, of all mattress orders and two free pillows for my listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash Walsh and use code helixpartner25. This is their best offer yet and it won't last long. That's helixsleep.com slash Walsh and use code helixpartner25. With Helix, better sleep starts now. But again, that's not how it goes. And, uh, and here's the CEO of United making it clear how uh, it really works. Listen. How is diversity and diversity targets working into the Aviate Academy? We have committed that 50% of the class of, of the classes will be women or people of color. Uh, today, only 19% of our pilots at United Airlines are women or people of color. And by the way, from all the data I've seen, that's the highest of any airline in the country. White males don't just dominate in the cockpits, also in the C-suite at United Airlines. Well, look, at United, I'm proud of the diversity that we actually have in our, our C-suite. I think if you look around corporate America. Correct me if I'm saying, though, so I, this is just based off your website, the people you list as executives, but out of 11 people, three are women. I believe one is a person of color. Um, that's correct. Um, but, you know, in corporate America, I think, you know. That's a low bar. How do you yeah. raise your own bar? Well, a lot of this is, you know, focusing on it. We have uh, programs to, one of the things we do is for every job when we do an interview, we require women and people of color to be involved in, in the interview process, bringing people in early in their careers um, as well uh, and giving them those opportunities. Yeah, you know, you got to get those white males out of there, right? You know, the the, the white males, you know, the, the people that... Um, have made air travel into the safest form of travel that's ever existed. The form of travel where you're 35,000 feet in the air and going 400 miles an hour, and that's the safest. Um, so, and the people who pr predominantly who would achieve that were white males. And so, how do we thank them? Let, let's get them out of this. And when I say that the people who predominantly achieve that are white males, I, I, I'm not making that up. That's the proponents of DEI are the first to say that. Like, they're the ones who are going to look at it and say, well, historically, it's been a white male-dominated field. Okay, so you're, you're the one saying that. Okay, well, also, historically, what has this field achieved? Those white males who are dominating the field, were they, were they doing poorly? Was there an issue? Was there a problem? Were they screwing up? No. The, the people who not only invented human flight to begin with, uh, were white males. And then the people who, even according to the DEI proponents, who made it unbelievably safe were also predominantly white males. So yeah, we got to get them out. Got to get those numbers down. This is what we're doing. We're, we're looking at, we're saying, okay, here's, here's, a, here's an industry that's doing fantastically well, uh, has achieved feats uh, unknown to mankind. What's the demographic predominantly responsible for that? Let's single them out and then try to get rid of them. Um, and that's what they're doing now. It is, uh, it is suicide. Well, I was going to say it's suicidal, but it's not really because the CEO of United probably isn't even flying. Like he's probably flying private. You know, he's not back in coach on a United flight. Um, so it's not suicidal for him. 
I bet you he wants to make sure the people flying his planes that he's on are the most qualified. Uh, so, no, it's not su- suicidal, really, uh, as far as it, it's homicidal, actually, is what it is. Hey, YouTube, thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to dailywire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.